Listen to this. Which car has the worst sounding exhaust? Now I know that question alone brings to mind a few cars. For me personally, I'm thinking V6 muscle cars, 350Zs, G37s, and maybe even some Hondas. But what happens when you throw a 16 year old kid into the mix? Well, that's what we're gonna look at today. I asked my subscribers to send me their exhaust clips of their shitty sounding cars. So we're gonna take a look and see which one of them has the worst sounding car. How is it going guys? Drew Peacock here back with another video. Let's go ahead and dive right in. If you want to send me one of your car clips for a future video follow me on instagram i'll let you guys know when and what to send at underscore 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 drew peacock let's dive right in sounds like a honda definitely a honda sounds like the marching band got let out of school a little early today they got a skip six period oh Oh no! Oh my god, that's so bad. Let's check the second clip. Got it. Oh, dude, and it looks like it's burning a shitload of oil too. You better be carrying around a five gallon jug. God damn, the first clip was a mixture of marching band and a fucking lawnmower. This clip. That's kind of a weed whacker. I'd say that one's more of a weed whacker there, but the other clip was definitely a lawnmower right here that's lawnmower that's 100 percent lawnmower so the integra sounds bad is it as bad as it's gonna get i have a feeling no let's keep going all right we got wind noise i already don't like that what is it is it another honda looks like an old accord okay well because of the uh, the wind noise we couldn't really hear it it kind of sounded like a little fucking fly just like by my ear whenever i'm eating dinner that's what it sounded like it sounded like just a little fly Let's... so uh i mean we could try to hear it one more time i mean dude that's full throttle too that's more embarrassing like the bad at sounding exhaust is one thing but full throttle and you're moving uh an extra five miles an hour that's pretty bad that's uh that's that's embarrassing don't claim yourself down in the comments don't say that's me you don't want to claim that title that's a bad title right there i think the first car still sounds the worst just because it was the it was you could hear it in the clip you, you couldn't hear the last one so it says mr2 bad sounding exhaust i don't think that sounds that bad compared to what we heard definitely not bad so you just wanted to get your cool exhaust clip in here didn't sound bad at all here we go this is what i'm looking for right here we got a straight piped sxt charger not srt sxt the srt straight piped already sound like boats but this is an sxt so this is gonna sound like a fucking beehive it's in arizona at least it could be loud legally it kind of sounds like a boat too it's got that deep rumble of like a boat like on water you didn't rev it though i really wanted you to rev it i mean that's a bad idling exhaust note I don't, th well, you know what, this thing under full throttle would probably sound as bad as that Integra, but we didn't get to hear that, so I think the Integra still sounds the worst, although that does sound bad, like. Yeah. Sounds like a crackhead's wet fart, I don't like that one either, but I really wish we could hear it rev. Unbolted the muffler on his RX-8, let's see. I don't really know what to expect. Can't really hear much right here. Ooh. Oh, no. Bro, your Apex seals are going to go out. Don't be doing that. You have 125,000 miles on this thing. You're still driving it around. Quality. Quality rotary right there. Let's hear that rev again. It's pretty quiet. It's quiet on my side. I'm going to turn it up a little bit more. Yeah, it's just got a, a little bit too much rasp. It doesn't sound, like, fine-tuned. It's just a lot of noise. And a lot of noise isn't always what you want. Definitely not in this case. You know, I wouldn't want to be seen driving an RX-7. Or not, not my bad. RX-8. I don't want to disrespect the RX-7 like that. I wouldn't want to be seen driving an RX-8, let alone make people turn around and look at it and then be disappointed immediately. That's a different kind of evil right there. <laughs> Oh, marching band, man. Trumpet going down the tunnel. Dude, everyone in that tunnel is going to send you their medical bill for hearing that shit. Oh, my God. That was, that was pretty bad. 
That was pretty bad. Let's do the second clip. Oh, this is his point of view. Dude, that's 4,000 RPM. That's only 4,000. Holy shit. That's only 4,000. Oh my god. I mean, that's definitely the most obnoxious sounding exhaust. I want to double check that first clip real quick. Oh. I'll tell you why you haven't heard loud unless you've been next to a straight pipe or like open header fucking 370z or 350z for that matter. I remember I was on this one cruise and there was this one 350 or 370. I don't remember what it was exactly. And he was just driving up in like the four, five, six, seven thousand like RPM range the whole time on city streets at night. Just fucking. It was in a video a while back. I'll have my editor throwing some clips right here. Bro, it's clown city. Oh my god, it sounds so bad! But it sounded so bad, I could only imagine in person this one sounds way worse. Um, so this, I think it's a tie for first right now between the Integra and this. They both sound horrible. This guy has a cooler car, so he loses more points on sounding like shit. So he might take the lead. If it comes down to a tiebreaker, I think he'll take the lead. Can't have a cool car and have it sound like shit. That's just illegal. All right, we got a five cylinder V70 Volvo. I feel like my ears are about to start bleeding. I have a feeling he's going to just rev bomb the shit out of this. It's not the worst, honestly. It's not that bad. Not bad compared to the Z. Um, it probably sounds better because of the turbo noises and everything. Because I could, I could hear the whistle just faintly. I, I could hear it. So, not that bad. You get a pass. Oh no, Scion TCs. These are horrible already sounds bad it's just idling in the morning too just going to school bye mom i'm gonna be the disappointment that takes the cake uh, that we only needed that little second to hear it dude he's at like 2000 rpm right there he's barely rolling barely fucking rolling and it sounds like a fucking can of bees listen to this just sounds like shit oh my god that is the that is the worst this is now number one i'd say 350 is number two and the integra is number three this is this is this is bad dude at idle it sounds like shit at idle it sounds like shit his exhaust work he's got a giant exhaust dip on it so this is just this is all bad Oh, God, that one hurts. We only got one clip of that gem, sadly. Maybe he'll send some more. All right, next one. We got a TRD dual muffler delete. All he said is TRD. Could be Supra. Could be Camry. God, I hope it's not a Camry. Could be like a Tundra. That'd be kind of cool. Go, 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 go. It's Camry. It's not as bad as the Scion. <laughs> Yeah, it's not as bad as the Scion. The Scion was another level of obnoxious and just shitty sounding. Like, that was like nails on a chalkboard. This is like, I don't know. This is, again, like a wet fart. Like, it, it almost doesn't sound like much. Like, maybe it's an illusion through the camera or whatever, but it almost sounds like a vacuum cleaner. Like, that's pretty depressing, too. You take off mufflers off of your TRD, and it still sounds like a vacuum cleaner. You must really not be pushing any power. <laughs> Nothing nothing not even worth it all right next clip guy recorded this while doing some exhaust repairs on his daily so might not be a permanent sound for him which is definitely gonna hurt him in the ranking but we'll see yeah just in case anybody wanted to hear what a open header crv sounds like uh, no just give me a second no i don't really want to hear what that what that b series sounds like his neighbors love him Oh, that, that's a Honda. You could tell that's a Honda right there. Bam, bam, bam. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. I don't like that. All right, yeah, since it's a temporary thing, we can't rank them too high because it's not a permanent thing. That Scion, 
that's permanent. He's all out of money after that. That guy, he's putting his muffler back on, so it sounded bad, but it was just a, a sweet taste of bad sounding. Not a permanent thing. Scion still for the win. All right, this one says doesn't sound too bad, so let's see if he's deaf. I can't tell what car it is, but that does sound very bad. That's a fucking trombone if I've ever heard one. That's a fucking trombone. That is not a trumpet, that's a trombone. See? And no, I'm not jerking off a ghost, you fucking sick creep. It sounded bad, but I still think that that Silent TC is the worst sounding car so far. I don't know if much can top that. That was horrible. This one said, the worst sounding Subaru you will ever hear. The resonator and muffler have been cut and replaced by a cherry bomb glass pack. Holy shit, this is going to get bad. And he's got a lot of clips of it. So let's check this first one out. That doesn't sound that bad. Uh, I mean, yeah, it didn't sound that bad. You, you, the, the key to having a bad sounding exhaust is it sounds bad 24 seven. If it sounds bad at idle, but sounds good at open throttle, like my girl's car did when we cut off her mufflers, that's not a bad sounding exhaust. If it sounds good at idle, but then sounds horrible at wide open throttle, it's not a full bad sounding exhaust. If it sounds bad 24 seven, like that fucking Scion TC, that's a bad sounding exhaust right there. This, this sounds bad, but it only sounds bad when he revs it. So you don't even hear it. All right, maybe there's more clips to do him some justice. He's got a lot claiming here. Worst sounding Subaru. I've heard some bad ones out there. That one didn't seem to be it. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. That was really bad. Dude, it sounds like a whoopee cushion. Ooh, no. No, 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 no. I think he's in second place so far. He might be able to work his way up to first, but that, that was bad. See, it doesn't sound bad there. I don't know what you did, but it sounds better. That's not what we just heard. That is different camera or something. I feel like everyone's going to say, that super sounds fine right there, because it, it sort of does. I mean, the exhaust job looks like shit. Like, what crackhead did you pay 50 bucks to weld this up with, with bubble gum? Because that looks like ass, but, uh, yeah, that, that, that clip didn't sound too bad. You, you might be going back down the ranking. Let's see this one. It doesn't sound bad there. I don't know if it's just me, but it doesn't sound bad. Doesn't sound bad there. All right, last clip. Let's see. Like, yeah, it, it, it doesn't sound like a professional exhaust system would, but it, like, it doesn't sound as bad as that sound. That one clip, I thought you had a chance. You're in, you're in like third or fourth place right now. Uh, like, it sounds bad, but it's not that bad. I think everyone's gonna agree with me. Comment down below, how bad does the Subaru sound from a scale from one to 10? I feel like it sounds like a, it's like a five. It's like, you obviously modified it, but you did the cheap route and it sort of paid off. Here we go, 98 Dodge Neon RT. All he did was cut off the muffler. This is gonna sound bad. He says he thinks it sounds better than a Civic, but still obnoxiously loud. Oh boy. Oh. Dude, this guy really loves his neon. That does not sound better than a Civic. I am sorry. I don't know what kind of Civic you're talking about. You might be talking about the straight pipe Civics, but you are on the same fucking level as those Civics. Just as bad as those sound, you sound equally as bad. I don't know who the fuck lied to you. Ugh. This guy's number two. This guy's 100% number two. Because at first, you, he's right. It doesn't sound that bad. Like, it has a little bit of a rumble to it. It doesn't sound that bad. And then he opens up the can of bees. Oh no, yeah, you're number two. Scion's still the worst because I'm just impressed on how little RPM it took for that sound to sound bad. This thing sounds bad up towards the uh, the red line. Number two, and then 370, the Integra's knocked out. Oh, fuck, is that 370 and the Integra tied? It's not that serious, whatever. Number one though is all we care about and the Scion is still number one. All right, we'll do like one or two more. 
Um, Genesis 5.0 with a mid res delete and quad tips. I don't think the quad tips are gonna change much, but the resonator delete, that'll make it sound bad. Potentially. Sorry, this fucking headset's squeezing my damn head. <laughs> I mean, it's loud, but it didn't sound bad. Like, if you close your eyes, close your eyes, and try to imagine what muscle car this sounds like. It kind of sounds like a Mustang with, like, a, a Corsa or a Borla. Kind of sounds like a Mustang with a Corsa. Just because it's just, like, loud 24-7. The Borla, like, kind of is more tamed. I don't think it sounds that bad. I mean, it's loud. No doubt in my mind that's going to be loud. Although it could be a cold start, so it's gonna, the idols are going to drop and shit. But definitely a loud car. I don't know if I would want my cruising around luxury a sedan to be a... I don't know why I did sedan with quotes. It is obviously a sedan. It's not trying to fake its life as a coupe. But maybe a luxury sedan. I don't know if I would want it to be super loud. But it doesn't sound half bad. I mean, at least from what I can tell. All right. We'll do... Uh, like I said, one or two more. This one says marching band. Oh my god. Marching man in full effect today. They got the whole uniform on. You know like when they wear those shoulder pan pads? Not pans. You know when they wear those shoulder pads with the little like tassels hanging off? That's what that wing looks like. Oh. Oh. Is that it? Okay, you know, you know that was loud because his microphone turns off. It tried to level out how loud that was compared to ambient sound, and you can't hear anything for the rest of the clip. His car's still on. I could faintly hear it. Dude, that shit is loud. Okay. Does that sound worse than the neon? I'm gonna say, yeah, that sounds worse than the neon. And he's trying to make it sound cool too, I feel like. I feel like this is like his finished product. Like, this is like, yeah, man, I did it. You did it. Varsity Marching Band. It's Varsity Marching Band a thing? This guy would know. Oh, yeah, no, that sounds bad. That's, that's number two. I still, I still think the, the Scion is number one. But let, let, let's tell by the first rev. Yeah, see that first rev sound would have been already screeching. That's number two. All right, guys. So it ended up with the Scion TC at number one, the unexpected underdog. Then we got the 350Z followed by probably another 350Z or Neon, something around there. It sounded bad. I think we can all agree most of those cars sounded bad. I was a little surprised by that one Subaru and the Genesis. They happened to sound okay, dare I say it. But let me know your guys' opinion down below. Do you guys agree with me? Was the Scion TC the worst sounding car? And if not, which one would you have put there? Anyways, that's all I got for you for today. Comment down below what you want the subscribers to compete in next. Should we do best sounding exhaust? Should we do fitment check? I don't know. Let me know. Comment down below. Subscribe to see more videos like this one. And until next video, peace.